Alright, All right, it's time to stream. Okay, so hopefully it should be on. Ooh. Um, I almost gotta refresh this. Just hello, in case. Twitch. Yes, <laughs> hello, if anyone is there. Y'all looking good today. Can't see you, but you're looking good today. Hopefully they're all looking good. It's okay. People always look great when they're just sitting in front of their computer in front of a fan. Yeah. Box fan specifically, you know, like that guy you're playing Overwatch with and he turns on his <laughs> mic and it's just like... That's <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think it says for... We should be on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, we're just going to wait a couple of minutes for people to come on. Freeze frame. And I'm going to play a little bit of... This is our main menu right. music. We got it from Ryan Pratt a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Uh, this one's a little bit slower. And if anyone's watching, go ahead and tell me if it's too loud and I'll turn it down. Because last time it was too loud. So I had to turn it down because no one could hear us talk. You mean the world's loudest elevator music in the world? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, you see, if I was smart, always an issue with live streaming. You see, yeah. you see, if I was smart, I would have brought like my effects rack with us. Yes. We could have just been like speaking like God through like a little. All right, um, we're gonna start a little bit here and listen to some music. Hello, Tornado Fan Nados. My name is Kelsey Kaufman. I'm the producer and host for Tornado Tower. Today, I have two guests with us. We have Brian in the red, and we got Matt in the black. Hey. Uh, they are both computer science and audio students at the school called 42. Is it also a one-year program or a couple years? Uh, it's three to five. Three to five. Three to five. That's an intense program. <laughs> and that is located in Fremont, correct? Yes, that's correct. Just up north of here. All right, so these two brave souls are going to try out Tornado Tower, and let's see who is the better player. Will it be Brian? Probably. Or will it be Matt? I mean, I like exploding. <laughs> All right. If you, um, oh, cool. Rocket Sage is now hosting our channel. If you guys don't know, Sage is pretty awesome. Go ahead and check out her channel, too. Uh, she'll be playing one, I think, at 9 p.m. at last, too. Ooh. It's pretty scary. It scares the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't think I can handle it if it was ever in VR. But if it does, I hope people record me crying and it <laughs> does happen. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, the headset will hide the tears. All right, if anyone's listening, can you? Are you guys able to hear the music? Uh, do you? It's not too loud for you. Am right? I loud or enough? Oh yeah, or is Matt loud enough? <laughs> that's, uh, that's. I think Sage. Hello, is welcome all, to McDonald's. How I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna drink my little tea, and yes, it is a nice cup. That letter, letter K. They did not give the guests nice cups. No, I don't want to spend two dollars each on them. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> it's about it's a bit loud. Okay, let me turn that down. Um, sorry. Do do do. Where to go? Okay, okay I'm mug in my car. I could have brought it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know there would be complimentary right. tea. The complimentary well, tea is okay. Nice. I turned yeah. down the music. I also think I turned. I just turned it off because it actually technically ended. Uh, next time, I'll, later on, I'll put it back on. I'll make it a lot lower, and you guys can tell me if it's um, if it works or not. Okay, so are you ready, Brian? I am ready. Okay, just go ahead and put on your headsets. All right, Brian. Um, you may see either a white screen or you may see the game. Um, and the white screen isn't, isn't nothing bad about it. It just pretty much it kind of helps load in the Oculus. And you either use your headset to enter the game or use your touches. Okay. So, so you should see nothing right now because I didn't load it in yet. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, and also if anyone's wondering why you can see my uh, background and not theirs is because I wasn't able to buy any more green screen. And so you will see the back of the lab I work in, but the other two, no, they're behind the nice fancy green screen. The nice fancy green screen that can cut you off your know head. It. Ah! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just for a moment, you're gonna see a little lag. Just for a moment, I need to make sure right. everything's okie dokie in our window for our players and our viewers. Yeah. So, so for this version of the game, does the person actually have to rotate with the player? They don't have to, but it is encouraged to look around 360. Just in your case, you might have to be careful on the green screen. <laughs> All right. That's well, code for hit the green screen. We need some crap falls up in here. Needs some falls up in here. All right, Canadale. She says, "All sounds great." Well, thank you very much. Thanks. And Zardoza, we will play the music again. I'll be a little bit louder because I had to turn it down so it wasn't blaring people's ears. 
And for those that are just tuning in, this is Tornado's Towers update on their game. My name is Kelsey Kaufman. Uh, can you say my name? My name is Kelsey Kaufman. I am the producer and the host on our Tornado Towers Twitch stream in for Tornado Tower. All right. Now, one of the biggest issues is I know they have played this game a little bit at the VR event that was at Google. It was an indie dev VR. Mm -hmm. That's where Matt and Brian and I met. Uh, pretty fun, I know. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We wouldn't be back if it wasn't. <laughs> I know. That, that's a good sign to me. Okay, so first off, we always got to ask since it's a VR game, we always have to make sure any guests or play testers who play the game are not sick. So. First right, off, you, you, you I, I am not feeling sick at all. All right, no dizziness, no nope. motion sickness. Now, We're now ask show, that the again. Stream, show the viewers this how big this level is, unless this is a different level. This is a different level? But, oh. yeah, man, it's um, still here. So this is yeah. the first version of level one. Later on, I'll take you to the newer one that doesn't have art in it, but it's a different level style. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'm going to have Matt play that one. Ooh. So, um, yes. <laughs> oh. And he died. See, red things are evil. <laughs> Red things are evil. Wait, does that mean Brian's evil? Yes, Flash Games 101. Brian, Brian's evil. Mm -hmm. He, yeah, like, if you've ever seen, like, if I'm Captain Kirk, he's Khan. You know, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, the clouds are doing some neat stuff back there. I tend yeah, they to, got little animations to play very to evil it. people in, uh, in uh, uh, strategy games and stuff like that. You know, that's right. So how is your D&D, uh, how'd that go? Oh, uh, oh, you mean my D&D campaign? Yeah. Uh, I almost died. <laughs> uh, twice. And for those that don't know what D&D, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and I played it before, too. Yeah. Uh, that was, um... They didn't let me play with them because I wanted to play Grease Trap the Bard, oh. who had no charisma. <laughs> I think I played, was it Pathfinder? I remember I played a dark campaign where I was a dark elf. Nice. I was named Alunayer. It would have been like lightning blood because I was a archer, so. By the way, the fist also kills you. Yes. <laughs> I like I like the enemies in this game. Like the innocent looking bamboo that just like comes up and explodes you <laughs> is just great. Oh, you should see until we put the new enemies in. These are just traps. <laughs> These are just little obstacles. Um. And for our viewers, uh, if you guys have any questions to ask Matt, Brian, or myself, go ahead and post them on the chat stream, and I'll go ahead and answer the best I can to my abilities. Um, hopefully I don't give away too many secrets for the game, because it's still in development. All right. So how'd you guys decide on the name Tornado Towers? That is... <laughs> a secret? Uh, no, it's not a secret. Um, I'm trying to remember what Anton told us. Uh, Anton, for those that do not know, Anton Star Starodub is our creative oh, director. Oh, you gotta kill that! Oh, oh right. You gotta and hit the B button. There's more than one button. <laughs> yeah. So Anton was the one that pitched the idea for Tornado Tower. Um, I'm trying. To, I think he he likes spherical and circles mm -hmm. at the time, and I think that's how the tornado came around. And he really likes towers, but he hates medieval towers. Oh. There, there's nothing against medieval towers. It's just that he wanted to go more unique in like the more Asian Asian culture of it. Yeah, I did notice that in the uh, checkpoints. Yeah. Ah, uh, cool. And he died. Nope. Oh, oh. Well, he did, yeah. He yeah. fell. By the way, there is fall damage. If you fall too much, you just explode, right? Yeah, you do. And we do, we're trying to work on our death animations. I like it. <laughs> you like the end? Like I, I just like the sudden explosion. It's like he's a fire mage or whatever. It's like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no logic to it. Well. The only logic would be the lasers from yeah. the eyeballs. Um, which, speaking of which, you guys, that's the only enemy oh, well, you, you see right now. You have two towers, two, two tornadoes, by the way, Brian, don't forget that. Oh, that's right. Yes, oh, you have the two good. little uh, clear spheres. So. Yeah. Well, that's a good indicator. How, how did you know you can, how did you know that was the indicator for the wind segments? Uh, because I always have to watch that because I keep wanting to uh, automatically, like, you know, keep going and going. <laughs> Because there's not a cancel button, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like when the tower, the next one that's the huge level, if it's the same one that we were trying out the other time, it was just a lot of waiting because there's a lot of stuff where you have to do two segments All at right. a time. Yeah, and Rocket, Sa Rocket, Rocket Sage says, eyeball lasers, yes. Yes. I agree. It is a big oh, yes. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, there are a couple enemies, and they're almost done. There's uh, the pusher enemy I think we're going to put in very soon, and mm -hmm. that one, he will follow you. He'll Ooh. go after your ass, 
Uh, but you can't attack him with the shield, so you have to actually find a way to destroy him without hitting the shield in the front. Mm. Uh, we and with the eyeballs, there's another enemy that's a walking eyeball. So Ooh. watch out for that one, because that one will still it'll still laser you. <laughs> uh, this is pretty funny. So have you guys considered adding uh, any puzzle elements, like any more standard puzzle elements to this game? Yes. Uh, so in the next level, there are two different puzzles you'll encounter. I also just finished the level design of re redesigning level two, which is mm -hmm. the one you'll come up to next. So the new level two will look completely different. Ooh, um, nice. The art style might, might be the same, and there are two same puzzles are in there, but there's actually three more puzzles that deal with new enemies and new traps, and to give you much thinking uh -oh. on it. Does he have to jump over the thing and walk backwards into it or something? He should be able to go in unless we disconnected it. <laughs> There's an invisible wall. Uh, also, I like the new flowers that you guys had. Those are really pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks oh, like the yeah. level we had the other day. Yeah, right, this, so, this one looks familiar. All right. So this one, uh, this one does have two puzzles. No spoilers. All right, guys. Again, Brian, how you feeling? You feeling okay in the tummy? Yeah. <laughs> in the yeah, head? I mean, this is, this is even actually... Uh, less jittery than it was uh, at the. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I noticed <laughs> that the rising camera is a lot smoother, which is good. Yeah. Oh, okay. So when they were playing at Google, we noticed that a couple times when people were playing, it started to lag, and that's what he was mean, like by shakiness. Um, think, thankfully, it's not doing that now. Uh, no one likes when the game lags. And have you guys been noticing? You kind of notice them kind of crouch when he gets close to an edge. That's actually the wall. The grab, the wall the ledge, ledge grab, grab yeah. part, and the implementation of it does work, but the animations we're still trying to put in. So we do have the animations coming in, oh. um, but at least because then before you weren't able you to save yourself. You can intersect the uh, segments, the Brian. That helps for like things where it's like you you want to go in a direction, then you want to immediately change it. It'll let you do that too. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious, uh, what kind of player are you? I think for things where you have to use both, he's more of a waiter, but when you just use one and it's clear what you have to do, it's easier to jump. Yeah, so Brian is a strategizer, which is nice because most of our other testers, uh, people on our stream, have actually been jumpers. So strat and there's no, there's no wrong player. So the strategizers are the players who will stand still first and make their wind tunnels first and then jump into it. And then our jumpers are people that will jump and make the wind. So I'm more of a jumper because I'm more comfortable with it, and he's more of a strategizer. Have you guys <laughs> actually considered adding a double jump, just one to give you a little more extra height? We have actually considered that, and we've play tested it, and we've asked some people with and without the win. So with the without the win, they felt more comfortable with a double jump. Also because as a typical platformer, you would have a double jump in your games. Now when we implemented the win, we would ask people the same question afterwards, but once they had the win, they felt like, oh, I have no need for a double jump because right. I get to go further. There's nothing wrong with it, but we aren't we don't know if we still want to implement that right at the moment. Right. Uh, because people seem to enjoy the wind enough and they like the movement of it. Yeah. I've just found that, uh, especially with me and Brian, we tend to uh, we put the thing just a little bit too high for us to jump into it, and then it's like, oh, now we have to wait for it to despawn. Yeah. All right, I have a question for you, Tornado Fan Nados. Um, how, what would you like to see Brian do? Would you like him to defeat an enemy right now, or do something cool with his wind? Oh, this is puzzle time, isn't it? He's getting close to one. Yeah, and the innocent oh, bamboo really. that from Ikea, that will kill you. Yeah. The bamboo from Ikea? <laughs> yeah, the bamboo from Ikea will kill you. Oh boy. I mean, Let's that's... See. I'm gonna have you do something cool with your boomerang. I... I need to... You need to find one of the eyeball enemies. So I'm gonna ask you to do something. So, look around the level. Alright. Let's see. Alright, Rocket Sage will be right back. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit, Rocket Sage. She's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll miss you, Rocket Sage. I'll, I'll wait. I miss her already. <laughs> mm. Do you get any vertigo when you look down? Not really, actually. Yeah. There's some people that like the look in that and like, whoa! Drink a nice cab. All right, I need to get some wine up in here. Yeah, Thank I'd you, Hank the that. Tank, with your suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could also just crush a cab. So, oh, someone want to call an Uber? Wait, well, they don't have cabs for Ubers. I mean, I cab, mean cab drivers got when you're, when you're, oh, when you're oh, there we are. All right, I want you to try to figure out, without jumping up there, how to defeat that enemy with mm. the boomerang in the wind. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Without, you, without jumping. Without jumping. 
can he do it? <gasps> oh. oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, maybe. Oh, but you jumped. Well, you did something. Yep, <laughs> you technically used the wind. The yeah. wind got caught on the island. But yay! So you can actually use your boomerang to go in the wind to make your boomerang go further and go in directions that it can't be all by itself. Oh, that is cool. Mm -hmm. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, and like there should be, do that. There should be two more enemies. And it, you can try it out and see, test it out there again, so yeah. people online can see better. Yeah, there's another there's right another there. one right there. Yeah. yeah. All right. And for those who are just coming into our stream, my name is Kelsey Kaufman. I am the host and producer of Tornado Tower. Uh, the person in the red is Brian, and in the black is Matt. They are computer science and audio students at the school called 42 in Fremont. We don't actually have an audio program. I'm just an audio programmer. Well, <laughs> it looks well to me. I would hope there might be one. But okay, audio programmer. Thank cool. you. All right, Zardoza says, very cool, very cool. <laughs> no, I just don't want to get anyone's hopes up. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, 42 okay. is just computer science. Now, I think you've only been... This is your first puzzle, correct? That you've been to? Yes, yes, I believe so. Okay, so let's see if you can figure this one out. Can you do it? So, have you guys considered smaller levels? Yes, we have. So, is this just for testing the uh, poly count before you get any lagger or something? For um, how big the levels are? So, right now, uh, with their... With Anton. Oh, oh, platform faded away. I knew that was. Oh, you died. He did die. <laughs> okay. You go back. Uh, he has to. Well, thank God for the checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> Just say. Um, okay, so for the smaller levels, there's. We were told it was kind of unlimited to how high, the. The map Sorry, can go. how high the top. Yeah, the tower goes. Yeah. Now it, there's nothing wrong with a smaller level, and it's okay. The maybe the 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 level one might be shorter. Mm -hmm. Level two could be a little shorter depending on the puzzles <laughs> and. Wow, that and, is uh, unforgiving. Yeah. And how much time a person would, on average, take in it. Mm -hmm. But it's in the talks for smaller levels, especially with the Sammy Showcase. We actually might do one of like here's the game on its full uh, time yeah. limit on it. See, that's and why then, I want the double jump right there, is because yeah. you do something quickly, it's like, uh oh, I'm gonna die now, aren't I? <laughs> So, well, so have you considered the having the guy break his legs, and that then like you have to crawl around and use the wind to go up small ledges? That would require animation <laughs> for well, him to break it. That'd be actually pretty. Or good maybe you him. just chop his legs off. He's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the chop. Well, well, I could chop his legs off, but <laughs> I would rather have his legs get chopped off and he gets stuck in a gate. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> so. I think this character's going to hate us. So what, what is the character's name? Because he just looks like a standard Assassin's Creed wannabe number 50. Number 50? Yeah, number 50. <laughs> not 49? Just not 42? Oh, yeah. Oh. Th number 42. Of course 42. Everything's 42. <laughs> um, no, we're still looking at the name. We don't want to give him the wrong name. Uh, so right so now his we name call... is the wrong name. Is that... <laughs> Maybe. No, we call him the Adventurer. Adventurer. And... And the little blue cursor is the wind spirit. Uh, mm -hmm. That we're getting the three D model for that character in, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you have an adorable, cute little wind spirit, you could sell keychains of that. Yeah. All right. This one's a thinker. Yes. So you need to time it. The platforms. And this animated. one was fixed. I actually did fix. If you look up, go ahead and look at the platforms. I have fixed the timer on these because last ah, time I showed it. Yeah, they turn on different times. Oh. They were synchronized, weren't they? They used to be synchronized. It was. It, I felt so I bad think for that Sam for the first puzzle, it should actually be when you land on it, it fades away, but that's just me. Yeah, I wasn't I actually thought that. Uh, that's how it was working the first time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go back. All right. So. But yeah, yeah so uh, this is definitely the first third-person game I've seen in VR. So Brian, how's your experience so far? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty intuitive, actually. You know, I. I <laughs> I like when you say that you die. It's very intuitive. <laughs> I mean, just just in term, I'm not really that that great of a platform player, but it's, I can tell. It's you know, it's not. Uh, it it definitely just feels like I'm basically surrounded by a platforming game. Oh, you're. But yeah, have you ever played the uh, puzzle game Tall Infinity? Tall Infinity? No. Yeah, you gotta check that out because it's also a cylindrical thing and you build up a tower that goes on forever. And it's it gets difficult because <laughs> basically you get less and less time to build more and more levels. Well, that would be fun. Less time, huh? Timers! Oh, 
Well, uh, not that the timer would be an important thing. Yeah. I just always like that game. Try making a... Let's see, I don't want to say it either. But <laughs> Use the uh, boomerang. Oh, no, no, it is, the boomerang no, doesn't I, do anything. Yeah, I mean, I well, I mean, you, so. it'd probably go through the wind, but it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, I see you collapsing your wind tunnels together. Maybe try spreading them out more. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a better yeah. idea. And this one, yeah, this one I had to be very, there you go. This one I had to really think because you're a strategizer, so you're going to stand still and make those wins. There you go. Um, woo! Yay, yeah, Brian did it! Woo! And I noticed that you uh, got rid of the uh, green cubes on every single platform. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, they're there, they're just invisible. Yeah. So, no of course, as a game design question, so do you add those manually or are they just on the platform objects? The textures of those? No, not the textures, the uh, the uh, the logic that says, okay, now you can grab this ledge and pull yourself up. Oh, uh, I think, well, in the blueprint, it should already automatically do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe these ones, be, um, I don't know if this one, these oh. platforms got in it. Oh. Mm. I guess uh, you can't grab that one. So technically, you can manually put that in, but from what I remember Rage doing it, it was pretty much all blueprint across. Yeah. Like, once you <laughs> change that main blueprint, it was going to yeah. go into it. Yeah, see, I just didn't know if you were doing it with physics, like saying, okay, now I have an edge so I can grab it or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, you could try. Maybe this one's invisible, but I don't think these got, um, got in it. Yeah. Woo! All right. You didn't get all the the things yet. No, I'm still missing one. You're, you didn't hit one puzzle yet. So yeah, you gotta you gotta look around, Brian. Look look around the level. I'll get out of your way. Cause yeah, you gotta look down. You gotta look up. Look for anything that's got. So are puzzles places with extra wind tubes that are already there? Not always. They they'll be a little different. So so can you see the collectibles? Cause I see. Yes, yeah, so I see. I see one right there. And there's the end level door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's some, yeah, there's some a little bit down there. So, so yeah, look up more. See how tall the rest of the level is. So I guess I'd recommend I am the rest I, of the I, way I, up. I think I'm, the, I'm at the very top of the level. Because that's, that's where I was. Yeah, yeah, that is where you were. Yeah, I'm at the very top right now. And see, can I Woo! Yeah, <laughs> yeah see, just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's another reason why a double jump would be great, is because then you could cancel your death ball. You may be, yeah. It, um, so right now, the only reason you're dying is depending on how high you are and your velocity is. And I right. believe when your velocity goes zero, it destroys you, ah. if, I, if I remember correctly. So we try and hide it on when you die by 13 meters in the game in height. Okay. And yeah, you want to go by meters, don't go by feet by inches, that's not good. Yeah, you always use meters in games. Always use meters. Um, there's nothing wrong with feet and inches, just, just yes. use the meters. <laughs> Oop. I'm pro-metric. Also, you can <laughs> stop yourself from dying if you put a wind tunnel yeah. directly where you're falling. That's true, you got two of them. And then, and you're playing that, I'm going to show you another new mechanic. I think Ooh. this one should be in it. If not, um, then I'm going to have to show it in the next stream. It's in. We're going we're gonna to show it no matter what. <laughs> Alright, you're going to have to give me a moment. Uh, <laughs> i got to fetch it from our... Okay, make a wind stand. tunnel before you fall. I don't know, maybe putting it downwards is actually going to speed you. Nope, it slows you down. Okay. But he had two. He didn't use both of them. Yeah. My, uh, my sister's pretty good at that. She'll actually, uh, she's pretty funny with it, but it's pretty amazing to watch her. She'll calculate how to go down on, on the wind tunnels, mm -hmm. and then she jumps in it. And I'm like, dude, how did she do that? <laughs> she, she's pretty clever at that. Um, also, she Just told make me... Just one that's straight up and down. I think that'll... Yeah, that's good. Well, I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, you, you went the opposite direction. So yeah. you actually have to put so. it in the way you want to fall. It doesn't speed you up, it slows you down. Yeah, so. well, it can speed you up. Okay. Um, it speeds up a little bit. Um, yeah, but it considerably slows you down, it seems. Uh, there's another mechanic that actually does slow you down. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show that when you get to play Matt. Ah, so see, Brian, she's making it easy for me. So... Did you like insult her at Google or something and I didn't know that? <laughs> Alright, let's see if you can get to a checkpoint before you die again. Otherwise you're gonna start from the top. Oh no. Oh, oh that God. was so lucky. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Looks uh, like I'm about to finish the level though. Yeah, go ahead and finish and I'll switch I'll switch Matt with it and I'll go. Oh but doesn't he have one more level to get through? No, this is the last one. Oh, okay. There you go. Alright. Good job, Brian. Yay! Oh, go ahead and look up. See? There's 
This is our main menu. I think we're gonna change the user interface oh, cool. for a little bit. So I you got a HUD? Oh wait, was that a moving enemy over there that I saw? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. It's the stationary one. Walk over to him. That's the pusher enemy. You will see oh. him. That's okay. He he left the game. <laughs> I was walking over to the other enemy. It's okay. Yeah. She, it was secret. We couldn't see it. Yeah. So All how right. you feel? Uh, do you want you okay? You want me to wipe that no. down, or are you okay? We're really good friends. All right, they're that best friends. They don't need me to wipe it down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We got right. Hand, nope. Left hand. That's left hand. That's okay. right hand. All are right. Are you okay? I'm in the universe of darkness. All right. I will. Dumamu, I've come to make a bargain. Do you need to go through the <clears throat> tutorial level again? Or you Either, okay? I'm fine with whatever, I should be good. Okay, let me, I'm gonna take, is it in here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like take you out of, out of this one, but I want you to check out Anita's new level. Right now, it doesn't have art, it's just bare bones. Um, I'm down. Let's have you guys test that out. Okay. Ooh. You might still see some darkness. Oh, here we go, okay. Give me just one moment before you start. Uh, I gotta make sure the audience sees it too. Yep. Hola. <laughs> okay, well, there's some calling there. Okay, oh, that looks cool. Oh, wait. Can't see, we got bad. some tubes that lead up into probably spikes. Maybe. Let's Another see, moment. we got some red cones. So, is there gonna be a driver's test? Like, is that why the cones are in here? We're gonna have to drive around those? Well, mm, hang on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh, so is this, this level not textured yet? Ah. Sorry! <laughs> they uh, weren't uh, able to see the game. Hang on. Okay, let me try this again. Uh, see all the little stuff I gotta do, people? Yep, yep, yep. It's just the little things. It's just always the, small things. the little things. Okay. But yeah, it's really comfy to be playing a VR game that's, uh, you know, Come on. you know, where you can sit down. It's actually really cool. Yeah. I do think That's it would be neat, moment. like, you know, because I like how you could do this, but if you did smaller level stuff, it'd be neat, like, you could actually be the camera for the whole level, and you'd just be moving up and down and stuff. That is true. But, Where yeah, no, I, I really like the way you've done the camera. All right, they're going to see in just one Ooh. second. Oh, that, oh, wait, it actually bounced off the roof of something. Dang. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so there is physics. Get a little physics in there. Okay, there you go. Woo. Woo, are we good? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for my other guy to charge up and I'm gonna just show them the boomerang thing. Okay, so this is our, the, you play, oh, no, Brian, already... you played the last old level one. So yes. this is our newer one. This one's a little different setup, more bare bones, there's no art in it. Um, this level, I, I, I kind of oh, like, yeah. ooh, good job. You didn't have to target that. <laughs> so now, is there a bug because I only have one wind guy at the moment? Nope, no okay. bug. Nope. So I just have one win guy. Yes. Uh oh. So. Because yeah, I started off with two, and then I used it, and then it just went away forever. Yeah. So anyway, let's see if I can glitch through this thing, because I think I can. Yep. Well. <laughs> you lost. You lost touch with your wind friends. That's. Uh, he might have. Yeah. Yeah. So with um, ah. with we want to in our game make sure you collect the wind segments. So it wouldn't make sense to give you two segments at once. Right. I think the maximum we're going to do nope. is possibly three yeah. wind segments total. Oh, I do have two. Okay. So is that a wind segment I just collected? No, you actually recharged ah. your wind segments. Okay, I can't kill this guy. I can't boomer boomer smash him. No, not boomer smash. That's pretty good. Boomer smash. <laughs> there you go. I just named your mechanic. That'll be a royalty fee, please. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm a student too, so. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, very nice. Very that was nice. an accident. Okay, so. Is there natural wind works right there? Are there spikes up here? That's what I want to know. Nope. I don't I'm know. Just, let's see. Let's see. Is there something hidden that I can't see? Yes, there should be something. No, there's nothing hidden. What? I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I thought uh, there'd be a secret. I don't know. Yes, it's, it's, it's almost too. Like, there's got to be something here. First off, also, it is so cool. What is that arrow with the wind circle down there? That's kind of where your camera point is, where okay. you are. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. I got, I'm pointing out a dot down there. I'll draw a wind segment. i got to go here, and i got to go here. Wow, your guys' ray tracing is really good. i got to go over there. Okay, there's <laughs> another guy that's there. Uh, so how many uh, little, the little wind spears are there in here? Every time you collect one, it will tell you. Okay. Well, I guess my nearest one is if I drop back down and go there and then I wrap back down around at the bottom, so. Oh, yep. Oh. 
Here, let's try this thing that I was trying to get Brian to do. Nope. Oh, that's right. Uh. The go back in time <laughs> potion. <laughs> that over's okay. I think this puts me closer. Yeah, you kind of kind of died there. Okay, <laughs> let's see. So I gotta get up there, right? Mm -hmm. That's where I gotta go. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Seems like a. When you get to the enemy, I'm gonna we're gonna try something. All right. Um, because we don't have the tutorial for to, to tell you how to do it yet. All right. Um, well, no spoilers. So let's see if I can figure it out. Cause I only have these two buttons. You haven't hidden any buttons from me, right? All right. I want you to have the put the wind spirit on top of the enemy. Okay. And but. Nope. Well, no, uh, <laughs> the wind a, spirit. Yeah, the, okay. the wind spirit's a little blue cursor. There he is. And then there's a grip that your handle is holding. Grip oh. Out. You didn't tell me about a button. There is a button. <laughs> okay, so what does what is, what is the purple sphere do? Well, that one actually slows down Time. your yep your enemies and yourself. So go ahead and make it near you now and try and jump in it. Oh, this is like some Carlos wizard typing shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and so when we have our new enemies, including our boss, you'll see how the bubble affects those enemies too. And so basically, I guess what I will do is I'll make a wind segment here, and then I'll make a slow sphere there, and then while he's trying to shoot me, I'll just jump over. Nope. It could have worked. That was pretty good planning. Pretty good planning. So, hey, Tornado Fan Nados, how do you feel about the bubble so far? Do you think it's kind of cool having to slow down time, or do you like, eh, maybe something else? It's okay, you won't hurt our feelings too much. <laughs> now I'm trying to speed run it. But yeah, uh, it reminds me of Luigi's weird sphere from Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah. You're air bending into the Matrix. Air bending into the Matrix. Let's see, like, it's cool because you can just, like, hold the thing and, like, you know, do the whatevers. So let's see, mm -hmm. uh, let's just go ahead and kill this guy with my boomerang. Well, oh, you're, you're barely even looking at where your, your guy is. Yeah, I don't need to. I, I like this mechanic. I really, I really do like the way the camera's done. Ah, uh, okay, well. well they almost targeted you. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see, so if I just go up here, I can go behind him. So yeah, let's just walk around. Yeah, because there's one here mm -hmm. that I had to get anyway. Yeah, let's see how many need left. You, I think I know yeah. where the rest are. I think so, yeah. You you were looking at them earlier when you were at a higher up point in the yeah. level. Which is great because there's a lot of collectathon platformers where it's just like, oh god, now where do I have to go? And then you have, almost have to like get a map off of IGN, but you can just look at the map, which is great. Yeah. That's all that's what some people like about you get to look around and <laughs> decide on your right. way how you want to collect some of the stuff. Okay, so let's see, I'll just go right to the enemy now. Let's see, where's my <laughs> uh oh. My oh, wind guy's gone. Uh, he's there. He's just, you gotta bring him in your view. Where is he? Okay. There he is. I had to fetch him. <laughs> now I knew. Now some, I know some artists, some of our artists call it a girl or a guy. Um, some, sometimes they call it a she. Do you guys think a girl wind spirit would be nice uh, instead of always having both males in here? Oh, definitely. I'm fine with either. I mean, it's... The main character could be a woman for all I know. It could be. You never know. Yeah, uh, the, the character just have pink pants. <laughs> I mean, the character is androgynous enough. That it's pretty gender neutral. I like yeah. that. Gender neutrality is good. Yeah, yeah. I think it was so far. I think. Ooh, very nice. He got a mid air. <laughs> yeah, it's like some Mega Man up in here. Mega Man. When Mega Man was good. When you know, you guys made a better <laughs> Mega Man than Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh, that's... yay! <laughs> I don't think I ever played that one. I think. Okay, I will uh, never play yes. that one then. <laughs> Unless you want to cry like an anime fan on prom night, you're good. Oh. Uh, that no. was their marketing scheme. <laughs> to make you cry? That's yes. Yeah. Uh, it's either good planning or not good planning. It was bad planning. All right, let's see. Hank the Tank says, or sorry, Hank the Tank 661. Uh, time is always fun to have in a game work on that angle. Looks like it would be cool to use. Hmm. Cool to use on the angle. Uh. Yes. Another, another thing that would be cool is that uh, does the uh, the wind spirit slow down potion does that like make you uh, does that depend on how many wind segments you have? Uh, wait, how? Like if you have uh, if you cast it with one wind segment, it's weaker than if you cast it with two. Um, at the moment, we weren't thinking of this, this vulnerability with the wind segments. That's a kind of that's a pretty good idea. Okay, I'm um, gonna go backwards. But because it technically deals with winds, we weren't thinking of it possibly getting any, um, getting hurt because it's a spirit. But right. oh, if no, you I want to be getting hurt, I just meant like if when you're casting the uh, time spell, 
would it get would weaker? Be, if it would get better, depending on how many wind segments you have. The, well, it will get. I wouldn't say it gets stronger, just that you get more movability with the wind. Okay. Oh. And your level will definitely uh -oh. be based on your wind Where'd segment. I go? Uh, you went somewhere. I crashed the game. No, nope, not a bug. There, there you are. <laughs> I might have just died. Because, yeah, could've, I regularly. You could have 360'd a lot. <laughs> do not look at, I do not look at my player like half the time. That's how intuitive these controls are. Oh, uh, that's spots. pretty good. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. If I put a uh, time slowdown sphere here, I can test that here. Sure, why not? Nope. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. <laughs> but the wind can save you. What happens if you combine them two? I don't know. Let's find out. This is a great experiment place. So for the final game, are you guys going to have lives or something? Uh, we were thinking about a health system depending on time. It is our stretch goal right now if we do do a health system with our main character. And okay, let's see. That gets me here. And for those who are just tuning in to our stream, my name is Kelsey Kaufman. I'm the host and the producer of Tornado Tower here that you're seeing playing in game development. Our two guests are Brian and Matt. Matt is in the Oculus right now with Oculus Touch, and Brian is Brian. <laughs> oh, I like Very nice. Okay. And I always like the wind, how the boomerang is affected with it, because if you don't use the wind, the boomerang will always go okay. horizontal. But whenever you use the one, you can make it go different ways, which I really like. Hmm. Okay, it's above me. So, yeah. uh, one. Oh, but Kaufman, two. Kaufman R says she got stuck at a pizza place before she can tune in. I want some pizza, Kaufman R. Do you guys want some pizza? I would love some pizza. You I mean, I'm always are. down for pizza. All right. You don't, you don't get to be like this if, you, if you're not always down for pizza. And then the question <laughs> that always comes up is, does pineapple deserve to be on pizza? Uh, conditionally, yes. I, I, I think it's very good with, uh, with, uh, pork or, uh, oh. you know, any, any type of bacon or ham, but, you know, Ooh, I, I feel, <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's, it's not going to be really as, as good like with, a secret or a trap up here. with yeah. like any, uh, yeah, with like any, anything like, I don't know. Like, a, a pineapple and olive pizza does not sound that good to me. You know, it's good all of the meatballs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one, I like pineapple on pizza. I've actually tried the olives, mushrooms, and pineapples with Alfredo sauce on pizza. Oh, yeah, my boomerang lives even though I die. Yeah. That sounds, um... <laughs> and I know those that hate pineapple on pizza, I know, it's okay. To those, it will be always gross. To me, I like it. There's some people that say pineapple does not deserve it. It's more dessert, it should be some side dish. And others would say, fruit does not belong on pizza. Whatever is yours, I mean, go ahead. I mean, tomato sauce it. is a fruit, right? That is interesting, yeah. What is, that is bad logic when people say fruit doesn't deserve to be okay, on it. Okay, there we but go. But the original pizza, there wasn't any tomato sauce. Oh, I thought I could do that. You were close, Matt. You were close. Does the thing recharge if I'm not on the ground? Mom, she got, Kaufman R says, her pizza is double pepperoni and olives. Oh, what kind of olives, green or black? I'm going to assume black. <laughs> I've never had green olives on a pizza. Uh, there's a there's a pizza place near 42 that serves green, Italia. serves green olives on pizza. Very nice. It's 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 actually, really uh, yeah. yeah. And Ian's favorite pizza. Who goes there? He loves the uh, what the hamburger pizza, the hamburger pizza. Oh. Uh, which which one is that? It's literally, they just put a whole bunch of toppings because he literally said, do you guys have hamburger pizza? And they just made it for him because, you know, he's like their favorite customer. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Oh! Oh, you oh. lost! <laughs> it looks so like you, you. I was alive, but then he was like, no, I should be dead. Let me check my state against the game engine. Okay, let's, right. what's the fastest way to get up there? So I guess if I just go over here and then I do a Hail Mary? No? If a I, Hail Mary? If I go to, yeah, okay, if I go to the right, that's faster. <laughs> I'm trying to go to the left, which is the unnatural way to go in the game anyway. So I just got to sneak down underneath this uh, wind turbine here. Woo! Woo! I'll force myself to go down to the wind. Very nice. Oh, oh, very good, very good. Now, it'd be nice if I could select whether or not I wanted to restart at one of the checkpoints since this is a non-linear game. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been thinking about that, and we do have a, a save and continue, like an auto save and continue in the game. But when we love the game, it goes to the last checkpoint you hit in that level. Mm -hmm. That was kind of interesting. But it does work, and we're fixing on that. Um, I've kind of 
I cast. <laughs> well, I'm not doing really a hit for nope. a moment. Uh, we're kind of looking to if we have time nope. to be able to do that. Oh, oh sorry, I have I to go back, back don't I? Yes. yes. Yes, you do. You go back! Oh, the shadows are casting through the ground. So yeah, does the does the slow down thing actually affect the hands? Because it looks like it kind of did there. We'll try it again and see if it does. I can't say yes or no to everything. And what time know. is it? What time is it? It's yeah. 7.40. Oh, whoops. I haven't right. played through the other level. But yeah, Brian already did that. Mm -hmm. He didn't play one of the puzzles, but I think last stream people saw the other puzzle. That's okay. We can go through this level. <laughs> And then next stream, hopefully on next Friday at 7 p.m., you guys can go ahead and see the revised version of level two and hopefully level three too. Yeah. Well, I mean, this just shows how like open-ended these levels are. There are multiple paths to get through, get through them, and uh... oh yeah, Try your bubble if you like. <laughs> I think I believe the the second. Oh, oh, it does. There we go. Oh, I'm not, not falling for like that one again. Yeah, because you're going to get stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. You okay, know. let's try this again. Wait, can I just... There's got to be a way to push for one of these platforms. I'm sure you guys are smart, but I'm smarter. <laughs> well, you might. I'm going to have to reset lovely to get stuck in there. <laughs> nope, okay. Help. <laughs> the boomerang can go through it. It might. I am not the boomerang. Always, always trying, trying to game the system, aren't you? Of course. You always, you always gotta break the games. Yeah. Um, also, I guess if it's allowed in the game, I don't consider it illegal. Nope. Mm -hmm. That that natural wind tunnel is going the opposite way. But yep. you were able to do it before. I'll just. This game doesn't like me. <laughs> I call foul. Jump. Be stuck in the lead. Well, oh my goodness, I made this look so easy. You let's go ahead and transition you to the next level. I'm yeah, gonna I'm pretty out. sure that the, yeah, there's a little egg at the end. What's up with the egg? The eggs? Yeah, there's an egg all the way at the end, right before there's like a weird egg shaped thing. Hmm. I guess maybe here. Let's uh, let's just uh, let's see if we can get to it. Oh my god. I know we can't start on Twitch. Sure you can. This isn't family friendly all the time. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me that. Trust me, you don't want to see him when he's not family friendly. Hey, you know, was it was it Einstein said? Is it Einstein that said if you do the same thing over and over, it's just you're going. It's like crazy. Yeah, I'm going crazy. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. I mean, it worked the first like five times I came this way. Okay, so let's not use the bubble. Oh my goodness, let's not use the bubble. I'm not Bubble Boy, I'm not a bad 90s movie or that's 2000s. <laughs> oh, God, no, 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 no. Okay. It's, it's a little nerve-wracking when you know the checkpoint where yeah, the yeah. last one was. I'm not concerned about the checkpoint, I'm more concerned about the time. <laughs> yep. So I was just playing this by myself, you know, I'm still really comfortable, so I'm not like, oh, I'm a, I gotta, I gotta go bark, so I gotta, I gotta get through this level now. Oh, no! Go. It's oh, okay. Ball damage in a platformer. I will go ahead... I think we still have a couple more minutes to do I, I will just try to get around this guy one more time. So let's see, we gotta jump across. Okay, jump across. Wait for the recharge. Down. That. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hmm. We can always go the other way. Yes. Just that, that's That's something I've been wondering why you haven't been going left. <laughs> he, because the left way is actually longer. <laughs> I think he's a rebel. He just needs. He has a point. It is a little bit longer. Yeah. Um. It takes me to the same place. Wow. Because this is the only way up. It is the only way up. Would you Would you prefer there might be a couple different ways to go up? Or uh, just... I think it's a good, valid point. It's just that are the uh, the radius of all the levels the same? Oh. Uh, let's see. So Kaufman R asks, uh, is that the puzzle that you're on? Do you still have the ghost platforms? But to answer your question, we still have the ghost platforms, but it is in level two uh, with that puzzle, not in level one. Okay. You can do it! Don't die! I really don't want to. I can touch them while they're on Wait. the ground. Wait! Go! <laughs> Yay! Okay, now this is why I didn't want to leave the level. I want to see what the egg is. And does it kill me? Oh, no, I just collected it. All right. if it goes, okay, it does go to the second one. Yay! So your A collected two segments. All right, so 
Love is nice. Oh, so so go ahead and look around for a moment. I'm going to take take to the other puzzle. Okay, so let's see. There's the puzzle we were at, which is I'm pointing yeah. at it. And uh, the other puzzle is that one. Oh, the yep. windmill puzzle. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. the caged one. Yeah. Yes, I already saw someone solve that, unfortunately. It's okay. Did you want to attempt at the other puzzle? I mean, the, the puzzle that Brian was doing and see who was better. I don't know. I will check. I will first go get the one that's in the cage just because. Yeah. You don't have to collect the collectibles in here. Just go ahead and test out the puzzles. Let's see. So yeah, uh, let's see. Two segment jumps, so... And for those that are just coming into our stream, my name is Kelsey Kaufman. I'm the host and producer for Tenero Tower, the game that you guys are seeing in development that Matt here is playing. And our guest speakers today are Brian and Matt from the School 42. Computer scientist students. Yeah! yeah. You cut! Okay, so it's <laughs> upwards. Yay! Uh... And of course, if I go down, it doesn't... Oh no, it doesn't matter which way I do it. Mm-hmm. So that's like some Legend of Zelda water temple stuff that we got going on here, Woo-woo. but with wind. Got it. I like the wind. So the, the sphere ability was only on the, the level that he was on before, right? Oh nope. no, nope. he can use it. <laughs> they so just could, didn't could, tell you about that. For could he have reason. used that to slow down the windmill? No. Could he have, let's uh, find out. Let's find out, I guess. Let's see if it was implemented or not. Nope. Same thing. Yeah. But that's actually cool. Yeah, yeah that'd be uh, cool because uh, basically you could point out a windmill and make it go down, but then slow it down and then run to it. Yeah. Yep. That would be cool. Because I think if you guys actually include the uh, rotating, you know, yourself as the camera in some puzzles, that would be like mind bendingly. Like, okay, these things will kill you. Yes. They will kill you. Let's see. Does it slow these guys down? Nope. In a way, it kind of does. Ooh, very nice. I like. He's like, you're so offensive with the attacking. There are people that get nervous going up to attack them because like, I didn't oh, even, no. I'm not looking at my player, so I didn't even notice him until I got right on him. <laughs> they give you a nice amount of time to react. Okay, I went past the puzzle there. Nope, it's right above me. Do you feel, do you feel okay? Uh, you're not sick or anything? Nope. All right, good. And I always have to ask that question because it's VR and you know, people get You'll know sick. when I get sick. Well, I do have a trash can over here. I will run and get it so you don't vomit <laughs> all over the carpet. Oh, or my blanket. I got a blanket. It's very soft and white and fluffy. Please don't ruin the blanket. Okay. I, I like it. it. I gotta go this way. Now, I have to jump around this guy. Woo! Yeah, see if you can go after the ghost platform in this one. Ghost platform? Oh, you mean the, the puzzle? Yeah, because I have to prove that I'm better at platformers than Brian after that shameful display. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Brian. We have to see who's better. No, not, not Brian's shameful display after my shameful display oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of like keeping going left. I can see my sister is saying, I'll beat everyone at that puzzle. <laughs> so is your sister, uh, like, is she going to the school or what's going on with that? No, she's uh, she's going to a community college called Diggersfield College mm-hmm. and she's doing communication, I recall. She's pretty smart. Uh, for a while she wanted to be a veterinarian. Um, she's pretty caring, loves animals. Oh. I thought I could duck by pressing down. I could not duck. It's a, well, would you have liked to have a ducking ability? It really feels like that's a place we're supposed to duck. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Cause see, that, that counts as ducking, I guess. I mean, you do have a slowing down time ability, <laughs> but ducking would be nice. Woo. So, I think the checkpoints in this level are more evenly spaced. Yeah. You think, ooh, thank God for that like, wall graph. Yep. <laughs> you would have fallen. Yeah, but there's a checkpoint, so. Ooh. That's right. All right. Woo, you made it. Oh, wait, you want to do another checkpoint? Why do I need another checkpoint? I'm not going to die. Well, let's I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, you lived. Quickly, segments. <laughs> Yeah, you made it! Yay! Okay, I gotta wait for the camera to come up with me. All right, first try. Woo! Yeah! Yay! He did it! <laughs> <laughs> so since you guys, oh, we saw both of you play that. Um, well, let's see if I can get down, because getting down was harder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I was making this this puzzle, I had to think, like, okay, if they jump off, they will, they will die. <laughs> um... I... Yeah! Ooh! You got saved by the wall grab! Okay, so awesome. Let's see, uh... Oh, wait. Uh, Arkoff 
Let's see, sorry, Kaufman R wants to know who our guests again. Our guests are Brian in the red and Matt in the black shirt. Can't really see his face that much, but he's looking. <laughs> um, they're computer science students at nope, the good. school called 42 in Fremont. Literally okay. the number 42, 42.us.org. There you go, 42. All right, so I think- That's pretty much everything, right? Yep, yep. And we're gonna go ahead and Cats out in this game. I don't think the teleportation is open, or is it? No, nope. but it's okay. It takes us to somewhere we've seen before, right? Yeah. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn it off, and we just now do any Q and A from our Tornado Fanados, and ask you guys questions on you felt the game overall, and talk about any little things about your school that you think people should know about the School Forty Two in Fremont. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm too lazy to get the seventh. You're one. too late. It's okay. I I'll forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, those were fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was fun watching you guys doing it. Oh, All right, you. I'm gonna put on the. I'm sure you say that to everybody. <laughs> no, it's it's pretty. <laughs> it's always funny to see different people play, and uh, like I've had people that aren't even recorded on here, like people from maybe different gaming industries come to come in. We had um, just recently we had someone come in from Google. His name is. Uh, forgive me if I say his name wrong. His name is Rob uh, Jagano? Uh, J A G N O W. I thought you were about to say Martin Normander. <laughs> no, not Martin Normander. Yeah, because he was at the Google event two days ago. Yes. No, he was. Uh, no. Uh, so he he played our game recently today, and he's someone who actually has dabbled in VR mm -hmm. in virtual reality, and he and I think he uses more of the Vive and the Oculus from what I got yeah. from it when he shows his projects. Um, so I'm not going to lie, these controllers this. are more comfortable than the Vibes because they're a little yeah. heavier. I do like the Vibes, uh, the, I like the joysticks on these, but I also really like the Vibes multi-touch thing multi -touch they got going on. on. Yeah, because it's got that built-in vibrational feedback, which is nice. Very nice. All right, yeah. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to go ahead and play our main menu music again. Now, bear in mind, we didn't buy this music. Um, it was made from scratch by Ryan Spratt. Uh, he is our composer for Tornado Tower, and hopefully you guys can look him up and look at his portfolio. Uh, please tell me if it's too loud, because last time I tried to do the boss music, it was a little too loud, no one can hear us, so please tell me, anyone who's viewing, if it's too loud or not. Nice. Now you, you told us uh, beforehand that uh, your artists are, are from San Jose State. They are from San Jose State. Uh, is your composer from San Jose State as well? No, he's actually from San Francisco. Ooh, oh, yeah. fancy. Uh, and if That's anyone, a high hourly rate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's too low. Is Are we blowing out low? your eardrums? Fan I hope natos. not. That would be terrible. They're fan natos, right? Yeah, tornado fan natos. <laughs> um, I will just make it eight volume to be safe on there. If you guys can't hear the music, go ahead and tell me. It should be on technically. Um, yeah, something that I'd also really like to point out graphics-wise is that this uh, picture they have in the background right now is really pretty and all, but when you're mm -hmm. actually in VR, the low-poly stuff does look great, like especially the little flowers peeking out because yeah. they're actually 3D. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, so it's not like just a 2D sprite. So everything is 3D modeled, which is really nice. Nice. Yeah, our art team, uh, I think they did an excellent job. Mm -hmm. And we, so so at our school, because we're, we're building our, oh, they don't hear anything, no sounds. Oh, hang on. Clap on. Um, hopefully I didn't turn it off accidentally. I could turn on the audio. I mean, there's a little green bar bouncing. Audio. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. We definitely have uh, the mics. Uh, mics definitely. Oh, I'm so sad. Picking up. Let me. <laughs> I think they can still hear us. They just can't hear the music. Okay, that played something. Maybe I that mean, was too we loud. could always just put the speaker directly into the microphone, like you know, like an old bootleg tape. Well, I don't <laughs> I know like if you guys that. can hear it or oh, not. Oh, it looks like we have a uh, a standing animation going on over there. Yeah, that's Anton working on the boomerang animation and cool. wall and grab and another one. Maybe that's too loud for you guys. Maybe you guys still can't hear it. I felt. Oh well. Okay, I'll guys, crank your, your computer time. volume all the way up, <laughs> and then uh, load up a scary image, and then just turn up the volume all the way. It'll be natural for them. It probably will be. <laughs> uh, I feel bad if I have to. Oh, there's the there's the wall animation. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Yeah. All right. If you if you guys can hear it now, please tell me. I really hope it's not blaring on your guys' screen. But if it's fine, then please tell me. Okay. So overall, 
Brian and Matt, what was your take on Today the Tower? Because I know you got to play two versions of level one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you got to play the puzzles in level two. And keep in mind, they are redesigning and still making this, but what right. is your first take on it? I well, I feel like the concept is is a very uh, very sound one. I mean, uh, having you know having it be like an, a sit down VR experience really helps. Yeah. Uh, helps helps keep you grounded, and um, especially for, for me, like uh, looking down and because um, uh, I was sitting down, I did not experience vertical. If I had been standing up, I definitely would have experienced vertigo. Um, so, so that was, so the whole, the whole cylindrical <laughs> motif and stuff like that is, I feel, really, um, really, really solid. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel like, um, the, uh, abilities that, uh, that our character has, um, could be, uh, elaborated on. Obviously, but it's pretty early on, um, right, right right now in terms of uh, development uh, yeah. but um, but the, the, like um, oh someone someone hey the tank six six one wants to ask did you feel like you guys wanted to jump out of your chair when no you no no okay you never know <laughs> maybe now <laughs> um I've seen one person try and do that. Every, every time the character jumped, she would jump with him, and it cracked me up. That's great. Um, I'm not gonna. Yeah, you know what you, you could do? You could have like a little uh, motor under here, and every time you push up, it just. Yeah. Woo! It's been like a 40 that, game. Now that's immersion right there. Yeah. <laughs> and and what, what about you, Matt? What was your take on it? Uh, basically, I definitely think the strongest mechanic, aside from everything else, is just looking around the level as you saw. I would lead my character because I'd look and see, okay, it's relatively yeah. class, and I'd be looking around, seeing where I wanted to go. And uh, this does feel more like a puzzle game. Yeah. Because the action elements, you know, they're slow. So if you're just an idiot like me, it's like, oh, jump Mega Man, yeah, done. I don't think you're an idiot. But basically, by the time that you uh, like, you know, you see the guy lock onto you, you have plenty of time to react. So it's not like a real punishment. The enemies. It's more like, okay, did you see them in advance? So I, I think that your your mechanic that you're really going to want to focus on is building puzzles where you have to look around the level, not necessarily right away, but for the later levels, like you're required to like, oh hey, here's a windmill over here. Now if I make that go down and then I hit it with my slow bubble and then I can run somewhere else. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like. Yeah, building on the unique perspective yeah. that VR affords you would... Because uh, it definitely doesn't feel like a gimmick. This feels like... Because it's just a platformer, ultimately, yes. at the end of the day. So this is the least gimmicky VR game I've played. Because it, it really feels like an actual game. It doesn't feel like this is a thing that you could only play in VR, but I think that when you actually add the camera panning and stuff, it's just going to add to the overall experience. And so, yeah. like, you know, if you have things connected in the level and you could reconnect and move blocks around, and, like, the more puzzle elements you add, the better the game's going to get. So yeah. just make sure when you're abstracting your blueprints that any ability you add can interact with everything in some way. Is about the only thing to do, and that might be easier in C++, but don't kill me for saying that. <laughs> uh, well, Blueprints is made out of C++. True. Um, so, yeah, we've been, we're still designing how to encourage the players to look around. Just like kind of what you said, uh, that's kind of interesting. Because uh, some play testers, they will look around, and some will not because they feel comfortable watching the character. <laughs> Uh, overall, but when they do need to look for those collectibles, yeah. they will look around at us, and, and that's the hard point. So when you guys yeah. are in level one, you're looking around like, where can I go? Mm -hmm. That was that was the big intention yeah. that she, uh, that Anita, who designed the level, was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Now she's not done. That's half. That's half of the level. Right. Um, and of course, there's always a couple changes. Yeah. Oh, sh um, let's see. Zardoza asks, what about the boomerang in the wind? Oh, the boomerang in the wind is super fun. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he finds it fun, Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I definitely that like that's that's what I was talking about earlier about sort of expanding on on the on the elements that I think you're going in the right direction there in, in that in that sense, and I like to see more of that in in, yeah. in in the game. And the boomerang in the wind is henceforth called the boomer smash. Now, if you could teleport to the boomerang in the future and like you have to guide it around something, then you teleport to it before it comes back to you. That'd be pretty sweet. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah. But uh, I think overall, like how you're saying, like you sometimes want people to look around the level. I think a good structure early on would be like you have a thing that looks like an impassable wall, but you are supposed to jump on top of it with the wind tube. Yeah. So if you go to the right, it's like a thing that you can't pass. But if you actually look around, you're like, oh, I'm supposed to go left instead of right. 
Just, just like something really basic, basic like that in the beginning. beginning. So Zardoza asks, can you put other stuff in the wind? Uh, actually, Zardoza, we are planning on that. I don't want to spoil too much, but one thing is we are actually trying to, when you hit a palm tree, mm -hmm. a coconut falls down. Oh, that'd be neat. So we're trying to implement that, and uh, we're going to use it in summer levels if it is Get some switches, hit some, like, uh, get some, oh, yeah. like, base puzzles going on there. Yeah, yeah we want, when, yeah, the wind physics puzzles are kind of like with the windmill, you know, that kind of instinctively you're like, I know what that is. Hopefully, wind better work on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of cool to see you use the bubble though on it because the bubble's very new and we have to make sure if we're going to design puzzles where we have to think, okay, how is this mechanic now going to work with yeah. the enemies and the puzzles? I definitely, I definitely think, think that uh, the bubble is something you want to give your players later down the line because now it's like, oh, hey, okay, now I can go back and solve the puzzle a totally different way just by slowing yeah. it down. So because of this demo, we allowed it in all the levels. Right. I didn't want to say anything in the tutorial yet, no, but uh, it should be, it's going to be introduced in a couple levels mm -hmm. down, right. more towards the end. Um, well, before we end, I want to make sure, do you have anything to talk about like, your school 42 and anything that you guys are working on? or? Uh, do you have anything to say? Because I'm just going to say uh, the usual thing about my audio crap. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you go ahead and talk about okay. that. Uh, basically, as far as the school goes, just go to 42.us.org. They have all the information because, uh, you know, it's just better. It's in plain text. People actually took the time to write it. If you ask me over the internet, there's a delay and stuff, and I can't give you the whole spiel. But uh, me, I do uh, audio programming, and so if you use Reactor, where you need sound design uh, for anything like games or sound effects or whatever, and you want a modular synth inside of your computer, Reactor is a great program. I make a set of collection of blocks for it on the user library for free called the Nouveau Collection. And with my little self-run company, Frederick's Audio, if you just type Frederick's Audio into Google, you'll get my paid blocks. And uh, if you follow my Gumroad page, you'll get the immediate update when I'm about to update those, because I was working on those today. And so they'll probably be out by uh, the end of next week. And it's really, really good stuff. So if you like your old vintage digital synthesizers, I got exact clones of the EPS filter and the EPS oscillator, and those are coming your way. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, Cannadale, I think I said your name right. She says, I enjoyed the color palette. Oh, well, thank you, Cannadale. Yes. Um, Anton really wanted the browns and the greens in there more, mm -hmm. a little more, more plain. Yeah, the area. natural color palettes mm -hmm. actually, it, it, work, it works great with VR because you expect everything to be natural VR anyway. And then Zardoza says, Boomer Smash. Yes. Boomer, hang on. Boomer Smash. Yeah, yeah it's the Boomer said. Smash now. You don't get to change that. I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, your best guess so far, Hank the Tank says. Oh, thank you guys. All right. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Someone's Someone something. just won the prize. Oh, yes, you win. <laughs> <laughs> you win something. Yep. All right. We win so, a visit from security. All right, so it is now 8.02, or a little two minutes over. Okay. Now, don't worry, Tornado Fan Nados, once again, next Friday at 7 p.m., we'll have another guest speaker and get to play more updates on our level, hopefully the new revision of level two and maybe the first draft of level Ooh. three. Oh. And maybe, if it's time, a boss level. No. Oh. oh, yes. We'll have to tune in next time. We won't be here for that. Yeah. Now, don't forget, if you weren't able to come into our earlier Twitch stream, this video will be up on YouTube um, tomorrow and hopefully tonight not on Twitch, but expect everything to come up tomorrow, and we'll post their uploads of those videos on our Facebook. You can follow us at Tornado Tower or at the Tornado Tower. You can also follow us on Twitter at the Tornado Tower or on our Twitch stream and YouTube. Obviously, Tornado Tower. <laughs> well, you guys have a great night, and from Vag Gillespie, I hope I'm saying that right. Vag Gillespie, uh, Gilly Spy. Ooh, bad Gilly Spy. This game looks very cool and original. The way VR has been implemented is very cool. Great work. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. And Coffin uh -huh. Arts' great show. Thank you. You're great too, guys and gals. <laughs> I'm not going to discriminate over here. All right, you guys have a lovely and spintastic night. I'll see you all next week. Spintastic night? You know it. Oh, everything spins here, doesn't it? It's always a circle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So have a good night, so Tornado Fanatos. I will see you next week. Bye. I, 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 in the circle. <laughs>